What's going on, Natsu Nation? I know you didn't ask for it. <clears throat> and I know you probably don't want it. But I just wanted to show you guys my Magic the Gathering collection. I, my camera's running low on batteries. We'll have to get this over with quick. So in the beginning, we have uh, just my artifacts. I got Engineered Explosives, which was uh, one of my box toppers from the uh, Ultimate Master set, which was really cool. And Eater of Days is one of my favorite cards. It's so stupid to just skip two turns, but it costs four. Absolutely silly. We got Hero's Podium in Sweet Hollow Foil. And then we got some other cool ones, like I got Phyrexian Colossus. Cool old card. Crumbling Sanctuary. I don't know if any of these cards have gone up in price. I definitely had a lot of fun buying some of these. Like Etched Monstrosity. What a silly card. He enters the battlefield with five negative one counters on him. But he's a 10-10 beater. Got Altered of Dementia. Winter Orb because I was trying to be mean. Scuttling Doom Engine. I was trying to make like a bunch of... I was making this one deck that was like absolutely risk filled also yeah torpor orb still trying to be mean uh soul ring we got mox lotus from uh the unset door of destinies cryptic gateway these are for tribal decks uh we got leveler very cool loved the august burns red album uh we got guardians of Miletus. i always thought that was really cool riptide replicator Used to be busted. Pretty sure it's banned. We got Brass Herald. Great for tribal decks as well. He just becomes whatever you need him to be. We got some lands. Uh, we got Ur Urberg Tomb of Yagmoth, which is really cool. Thespian Stage. I think it's banned. Um, Desolate Lighthouse. A lot of these are really cool. Inventor's Fair was fun. And then I got some Holofoil lands. And then we're going straight into the Eldrazi's. I have none of the, like, iconic Eldrazi's, but Desolation Twin is pretty cool. As well as, like, Thought Not Seer and U Ulamog's Crusher, but uh, nothing crazy. And then we're going right into our multicolors. We got Progenitus, as you would expect. Uh, and then some... Uh... Ooh, let me scoot this back at that, actually. And we got... Uh... Did, 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 the worm, no blast worm. I, I I have a worm deck, so that's fun. Uh, we got Progenus, and then we got these older um, Commander cards from, what was it, like Commander 2016? And then uh, the partner ability, it was so busted, by the way. I had so much fun using it. We have Shatter Gang Brothers from that uh, old 2013 Commander deck. Phoenix, the god of deception, Decepticons, Metamai, the Ageless Anya, the Merciless Angel, Nyssa, you know, Leovald, Lord of Extinction, all that cool stuff. So I tried to like put all my hollow rares and then mythics in here. Oh yeah, we got a holographic Gaddic Teague. I kind of want to use him in a deck. That would be so much fun. Lavania of the Tenth, what an ancient card. Archon of the Triumvirate. That was when Ravnica was around for a little bit in 2012. I, I had started when Theros came out. Yes. Yeah, I started Magic when Theros came out in 2013. And then Born of the Gods, and then the next Born came out. As you can tell. And then, like, Theros came back. And we got Clothis, God of Destiny. So that was extremely refreshing to see, by the way. Um, I don't know if they're going in a full circle every seven years. But that would be pretty cool. I'll be alive for it, right? <laughs> and then, um... Ah, oh, man, these are so good. Fleece Main Line. Uh, for my playgroup, used to be hard to deal with. Because we didn't spend a lot of money. We couldn't spend a lot of money. We just opened... Uh, what we could. I use what we did. We got Collective Blessing. Uh, Wheel of the Sun and Moon. Great card. Um, not a lot of other good cards laying around. We got Set Car from that older Commander set. We got Kajik. <coughs> Blade of the Legion. 
Very cool. And I got a bunch of worms because I ran a worm deck. Also, Carnal Hood Worm. I don't know if he exists anywhere else, but wow, what a cool looking card. And what a decent card. <laughs> why is he not in my worm deck, uh, you may ask? I don't know. I don't remember why. I've edited it so much to it, to it being possibly pure trash. And here are some other color cards that are like foil and whatnot. We got Worm, worm Harvest. What a great card also. Our blues. Perplexing Chimera. Uh, I just traded a basic one to uh, a man early this year. Well, not a basic one, a non-foil. Um, I'm probably going to make this video into two parts because I have so many cards and my battery is dying. We got these. Clone was a great card. I enjoyed it. Psychic Venom is old. I don't know where or when it's from because it has no dates or nothing on it. Um, I'm assuming it could be worth a, a, a penny or two. I got it from a card shop in Delaware. If you've ever heard of Born to Game, uh, I really enjoyed going to that place when I could. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to all the time because of my shift work. This is a holographic comic. Interesting. Shrouded Serpent. That was a really cool card. Said it was from the year 2000. I was in... First grade in 2000. That's right. <laughs> so I would not have understood or played Magic. I did collect and play Pokemon in 2000. And then a couple of years later, I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And that was a lot of fun. You know, I, I met one of my first friends uh, in third grade be simply because like we, we both started drawing Pokemon. And we're like, whoa, dude, Pokemon. And then we became friends for... Uh, I want to say like 10 years or so. Almost 10 years. And then we kind of fell off. I don't know if that man is watching right now. But I miss you, buddy. I don't want to say your name because... Uh, I don't know if you want me to say your name. Anyways, we got Sunder. Sorry, sorry for all that weirdness. This card is mean, by the way. Return all lands to the owner's hand. Absolutely rip-roaring rude. First of all, by the way. And, uh, oh my god, am I running out of brain? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we got Striped Riverwinder. I just wanted to shout that card out because it's really cool. Living Lore is weird. Eh. Oh yeah, my first, um, Ultimate Masters was a foil foil. Go. <gasps> oh. I'm going to live, I promise. And then uh, we're going to go to the white cards, and then I think we'll stop. We got Silent Sentinel and Reina Dawnbringer. Wow, holographic. We got Dawnbringer Chariots. I don't know if that's in the same realm of uh, Dawnbringer. And we got Angel of Deliverance. This is a promo card. I don't remember where I got this. But that was really cool. Uh, a Ration Foremost Suspension Field. That's a promo as well. Um, I have this Chinese card that I bought by accident. I don't remember who or what it is. We got Angel of Serenity, True Conviction. Are you, how much conviction do you have? Also, did you guys hear about that weird, like, uh, scandal that Magic was in? It was just like, they had a card that resembled, I hate to say it, but the KKK, those evil, evil monsters. But, um, yeah, they had to, like, ban a card that was like that. And I think they did. They may have banned Crusading Knight as well, simply because of its implications. But, uh, oh, my God, we're running out of time. My phone says low, low battery. I'm so sorry, guys. We're going to have to do part two later. Um, but uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. I know that collection videos aren't super cool, but just wanted to let you see my collection. Anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Here are some videos that you can watch in the end. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.